I have these speaker bars laying around, what I took out past year out of LED monitor. I'm creating something that no one have created before with the speakers. I'll be making it USB plug and play, so no need to call it USB power, because we don't need to connect it to the sound card board. Here is my plan in block diagram. This is the amplifier board, the simplest one, based on LM386, connected via volume controller. And here is the speaker that I'm going to connect it with it, and these speakers are from that sound bar. The input of this amplifier is coming out of uh, the wiper of the 10k potentiometer. This potentiometer is then connected to the RCA uh, connector and DAC. What DAC is digital to analog converter and it is our USB audio codec. And that's what I'm gonna use to power this amplifier. I use two 1K resistor, which are for the left and right channel, and it is the passive mixer. Uh, probably not the best way, but it's a passive mixer and works well. And because our amplifier is mono, so that is why we are using it. Schematic of the amplifier and DAC board are given in the description of this video. You can have that now. You can also perform switching between this RCA and DAC by using a toggle switch. How we can do that? Well, let's see. What if I connect a switch over here? This switch. Now, this switch has two positions only. Either it is connected to the RCA or DAC. This is the purpose of the switch, it is you can say a uh, chain your switch. Such type of switch are called SPDT, stands for single pole double throw. We'll take uh, the power from USB terminal that are positive and negative of USB. If you are using this switch, you need to create another passive mixer and that is why I didn't need that switch and RC connector while I will be using this RC connector with the microphone port instead of 3.5M jack this amplifier can be powered up by the voltage uh, range between 5 to 12 volts up to 18 volts I could also use a step up converter which could step up 5 volt to 12 volt to drive this amplifier board easily from the USB port as we already know that USB port has 5 volts but as I could also power this board by 5 volts only so I didn't need that We'll take power from the USB terminals that are positive and negative of USB. I posted the amplifier schematic on my blog in 2013 as you can take a look. And I posted its a revised version in the same year. My design of LM386 amplifier provides the cleanest sounds possible. This is the revised version. The PCB looks like this. One could build it more compact. Here is the schematic of the USB sound card you're gonna need. PCM2902 is a 16-bit USB audio codec integrated chip. These are the position where you're gonna put the USB jack for the connection. The buttons are optional. Here you're gonna put the uh, headphone jack or the speaker or you will gonna put uh, microphone jack these are the USB pinout everything is included in the description if you are not interested in building that USB uh, sound card you can buy these cheap sound cards that are available everywhere firstly I'll unscrew it to take 
the speakers out to use those speakers in my mini project box. The speakers are of the best quality I have ever seen. These are the things we're going to need. Two RC connector, one potentiometer, of course ICLM386 capacitors, and USB DAC of course. The USB jack and piece of air board where we're gonna assemble the amplifier board. This is the project box I am going to use. I'll put some marking and then I'll assemble everything. Let's enjoy the video which will show you every step I used in building this mini USB plug and play speaker. And do like, share and subscribe to support us.